say no to them? The answer is no. That person who needs you now, who ignored you before, but now that they want something from you, has suddenly reappeared. That person who only wants a favor from you, that person who only wants to receive but never has anything to give. Right now, they want something from you. Right now, they need you. They are speaking to you as if the two of you are so close, as if you are so special to them. You are not. They don't care about you. They are ungrateful. They will not be thankful if you help them. They only want to use you and the answer is no. There are other people who need your help. There are other people who need your service, who need your hands. Be there for these people. Be there for these grateful people. Not these people over there who forgot all about you. And if there is something where you can benefit, they will not call you. They will call their people. They will call their friends. They will call those who they hold in high regard. They act like they forgot. They were not there for you. They are acting like the two of you are always good friends. It is not that you hate them or they are your enemy, but you will not allow yourself to be used. You will not allow people to walk over you, then turn around and laugh at you. And there will be signs. There will be signs of how ungrateful these people are and how they are only trying to use you, to take from you and give nothing back. It is not that you are giving just because you want something back. No, you're giving because you are a giver. That is what you do. You are that type of person who helps people. But there is a line that mustn't be crossed. There comes a time when you realize that some people only want to steal from you. They only want to take from you. They have no regard for you. They only come there because of what they can get. It happens in romantic relationships. Hmm? quote-unquote relationships where people are there because of how you look. People are there because of what's down there. People are there because of what's in the bank. Your money, your house, your pretty face. Hmm? The S word. That is what they are there for. Your body. Hmm? They are there because if they are there with you, they will get a contract, something will work out for them. They will get some money, they will get an opportunity, but it has nothing to do with helping you. It has nothing to do with being there for you. It has nothing to do with giving anything to you. Let me tell you, let me remind you, giving and receiving are two sides of the same coin. And the way the universe works, if you are giving and you are not receiving, the wires will be cut. That will be the end of it. Because giving and receiving are two sides of the same coin. If you are giving to somebody and they are not giving anything back, it's only a matter of time till it ends. Especially if they are in a position where they can give.
If somebody is there with you and they are only there to take from you, they are not honest with you. They are there in a way to trick you, to fool you. They are trying to make you feel special at the time when they need you. Something is not right about this. It is only a matter of time till you realize it. And when you realize it, trust your vibes. Be able to say no. And if it is your choice, you can say no without any explanation. You do not owe anybody that. They are not your kids. They are not your parents. And in some cases, even family, you must say no and there's no explanation. No. Sometimes we say yes because of the kind people that we are. You may say yes because you are a kind person. You are a loving person. You have all of this loving kindness. You want to help people. You are saying yes. But sometimes we have to be very careful with that word yes because that word yes can lead to our destruction. That word yes you can end up being affected mentally. It is not good for your mental health. Very often you are saying yes because you just cannot say no. You're such a good person. You're too good. <laughs> Sometimes you're such a good person. You cannot say no. It is difficult. It is so hard to say no. You think that you must say yes. They asked you for something you must say yes how can you say no how can you say no but if you only knew that these people don't really care you're not even that special to them and if you say no the show goes on they don't even give you a second thought they don't even think about you you were never that important to begin with you are important to me yes you are important to us on this advancing channel yes but to these people over there yes you are important to yourself but to these people over there you don't really matter hmm? do you care no to God you matter to the most high you matter to source you matter and that is what matters <laughs> click that like button for the YouTube algorithm I said there are times when you must say no the answer is no you do not even need any explanation I'm here to hold your hand Perhaps you need that strength to be able to say, no, I cannot do it. It doesn't mean that you have to be mean. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you have to be mean. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you have to argue with that person and say, oh, and give this long story. No, sometimes it's TMI, too much information. Keep it short and say, I won't be able to do it. How many of you watching me here People only know your number when they want something free. Hmm? You're the go-to person when they want something for free. Hmm? You're good at something. You have your skill. You have something you studied. You have something you nurtured. You have a service to offer. You have a product to offer. They don't come to you when they got money in their pockets. They don't come to you as a paying customer, no. You are supposed to be their friend. You are supposed to be their relative, their family member. Hmm? They don't come to you when they have money, no. They don't come to buy. They come for what some people call freeness. <laughs> They come for something free. They know your number then for things that are free. But when they are paying, they know where to go. They go to your competitors. They go to other people because they want something that they are going to pay for. But you, you're the one who is there for the free stuff. The answer is no. The answer is no. And many of you, you have helped these people. You have been there for them. You have helped them time after time. When does it end? There comes a point where 
it's got to end. There comes a point when they cannot walk over you anymore. You know, they push over. You know, this person they can just use and discard. No. You have value. You have value. You're worth something. They cannot continue treating you like you're an afterthought. No. No. And very often you volunteer, others volunteer. At the end, they highlight others, not you. These are the people they are going to highlight. These are the people they are going to talk about, not you. And you're still going to be there with these people. They have to respect you. They have to treat you like the great one you are. They have to express some form of gratitude. They have no gratitude. And it is clear to see. And when you realize that they have no gratitude, the answer is no. You're busy. You've got work to do. And sometimes it even costs you to help them very often. Well, everything costs <laughs> to some extent on this planet. Hmm? Help them, they won't appreciate. How about helping the people over there who are grateful? How about being there for the people over there who will appreciate you, who will appreciate your work? They are asking, they are asking, they are begging, they are crying, they are explaining, they are trying to make you think that you're so important to that thing they want to do. All of a sudden you are so important. Mm -hmm. But where were they back then? They forgot all about you. They acted like you didn't exist. And it is not a matter of revenge. It's just a matter of self-respect. It is just a matter of you valuing your time. It is a matter of you deciding what you can do or not. Let me tell you something. Sometimes we feel like we are obligated to give. You are not obligated to give to anyone. Well, except if it is your children and so on. You know what I mean. But you can decide to give today and not give tomorrow. You can decide to give to a certain... For example, you can decide to give to the advancing channel. Or you can decide not to give. You can decide to donate to the advancing channel. Or you can decide not to donate. You are free. And don't feel bad because you don't donate or because you cannot give. You see somebody outside of the grocery store, they're begging, they're soliciting. You don't have to give. You see somebody, it's a charity, they're asking for money for whatever. You don't have to give. You can give if you want. It is a good thing to give. It is more blessed to give than to receive. But it is still your choice. It is your money. And if you feel happy about it, you can give. It is not something where you're being forced. Hmm? It must be something that comes from the heart. And you're in two minds. When you're in two minds, hmm? it says something. I said, the answer is no. Somebody type no in the comments. How about that? Very simple. And you can type another comment if you want to. <laughs> There's no limit. Somebody type no in the comments. <laughs> and if you don't want to type, type no. <laughs> You're still typing anyway. As we're here in nature, let me tell you something. It's so calm here in nature. Such an honor. Always an honor to speak you, with you from the heart. From the heart. <laughs> from the heart of nature to speak with you as the birds are there singing and I am reminding you that some people they are only there to use you they come around only when they want something from you they will send you a DM they will send you a message 
all of a sudden they remember that you're good at a specific thing. It could be, let's say you love to cook. Let's say you're a good cook. You even forgot that they remembered <laughs> that you are a good cook. You thought they forgot all about that. Years go by and all of a sudden you're getting that call. Hey, we need you to cook at whatever. For free, mind you. They need free people. So they're calling you now. And they're making it look like, yes, because you're so good at cooking. You're so amazing. Oh, they just remembered that, right? But you saw them the other day. <laughs> they never called you for work. And some people may think it's petty. I don't think it is. Remember, you have that level of control, that power. You can decide. You're not a slave. You can say yes. It is good to say yes. But you can also say no when it is affecting you, when something is telling you that you, that you should say no. Because you're already a kind person. You're already this good person. You already like to give. Don't feel guilty because this still small voice is saying, say no, say no. Because you're hearing this voice that says, say no it's too much because you are getting signs that you shouldn't do it that you shouldn't go ahead say no and don't feel bad about it don't feel guilty about it because they won't feel guilty ask them to help you try them and you will see they won't reciprocate. They won't be there for you. Hmm? Like I said, how about being there for these people who will be there for you? How about being there for those who are grateful? Those who have been appreciating you. And sometimes you wonder about people. You wonder that same person who is trying to get something from you. One day you were down. They knew it. They didn't help you. My goodness. They know you're not doing too well. They know you're ill. They will never say get well soon. They don't care. They didn't get what they got. They're gone. They're out the door. They don't care. Hmm. But when they want something, they're there, they appear. When you need them, they disappear. And that is why you must give yourself permission to say no. <laughs> As we hear, the sun is shining. Hmm? I am here in nature. You're here with me vibrationally, how about that? And I am sending you this good energy. Wherever you're watching me, whatever device you're using, your phone, your tablet, your computer, your television, you're watching me on this big screen. Hmm? <laughs> I feel so honored. I feel so privileged to be there with you, you and I. How about that? As we spread the good news, the good news is that things are always working out for you. The good news is that every disappointment is a blessing. You are special. The entire universe is conspiring in your favor. They may try to use you, they cannot. They may try to bring you down, they cannot. They may try to trample over you, they cannot. They may treat you like a nobody. They may treat you with contempt. That is them and the way they think. They're underestimating you. That doesn't mean you're low. You're up. You're way up there. You are a winner. All you do is win. You're up. Hey, 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 remember your power. Remember your greatness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel small. I am here to reassure you. I am here to hold your hand. They wanted to make you think that you're nothing. You are something. You are special. You are part of God. You are one with God. You are divine. You come from source. You come from God. Woo! You are amazing as we're here on this advancing channel. Thank you so much.
for leaving a comment, for liking the video, for sharing the video. Those of you who have been supporting the channel via PayPal, via Super Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You watch video after video. Thank you so much. Hmm? The advancing one that you are, the chosen one that you are. As we hear in nature, and I am sending you loads of positive energy. My name is Manchus. This is the Advancing Channel. One love, God bless, and all the best.